Previously on The Walking Dead Michonne. Now I've upgraded to beer. Very important. The final episode of Michonne. <sighs> I really happen. I, I really wonder what's gonna happen here at the end. Randall should be the one laying there. Not your brother. We've had some severe uh, PTSD going on. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. They, they had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne! What is it? We're seeing our dying children, or our dead children, more than likely, everywhere. He was nice. He, not so much. And I didn't make up my mind. I decided to bash his skull in. And he's dead. Alright. Alright. So, this is the last episode. It feels like a lot of the story is yet to be told. So, I'm kind of curious about what is going to happen here. We do know, though, that Michonne is severely messed up because of these children right here. Oh, no. Have we seen them die? Or are we not sure? That's kind of what I'm not entirely sure about just yet. I don't know if we're still looking for them or or what. Oh, we're two weeks backwards right now. We're back on the boat. Huh. Interesting. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. No, mate. Because if you do, I'm going to have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. I just needed some space. Uh, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. We got coffee? Go on. Nice, dude. I'll never deny a good cup of, <laughs> you know, a cup of coffee is always good. <coughs> oh. God damn, Oak. Okay. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. I'm pretty sure in any kind of... Uh, apocalyptic kind of setting, I'm pretty sure that pretty much everyone would... turn into a drug addict or an alcoholic, because... <laughs> gotta make it through the day one way or another. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is now. How long does it take? Because I don't really like How them all too much. How long does it take? Pete's pretty cool, though. What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Is he keeping track, or did, was that part Pete, of the joke? My brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then... A young girl got... taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her... in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. Why'd you go after her? Because back then, I still thought I could make a difference. After my brother... I just want to make it through another day. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he 
offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions. Didn't turn me away. Just welcomed me in. Pete's good. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Sure, deal me Besides, in. I'll play cards. None of us can remember the rules. Yeah. Deal me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Wait, we're actually gambling for stuff? So wait, why did we just see that? Oh, he did. So why did we just see that? Oh God, he's dead. I should have stopped. Did you. he just move? How could you do this? That he talked about my kids. Yeah, <laughs> quite literally the option that I have as well. He talked about my kids. So you killed him. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. You're not a killer, Sam. Don't become one. You don't know what I am. Ugh. Wow. Sam, calm down. Sam, My you dad literally isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I I didn't mean he ruined everything. Excuse he me. He killed. A little bit of sisterly love no, over here. No, I don't know. Wait. You hear that? Answer me now. All right, fine. We're gonna answer it. Here we go. Miss Joan? You don't want to keep me waiting. I'm right here. Good. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand. But your luck has changed. Miss Joan and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Okay. Oh. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! They're all in good hands here, but them staying that way is I shouldn't have you. killed him. So listen closely. I should not have killed Randall. I'm willing to trade my brother for <laughs> your friend. Do you accept the corpse? But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? I wish I, I... I told you guys as well at the end of the previous one. No, he's still... See, he did move. Look, you don't owe me anything, but please... We have to get them back. That's my deal, Michelle. I mean, I didn't touch him. Just the, the, do what she says. I'm Stop lying. Worrying. I'm a terrible liar. I'm a terrible liar. That's what I like to hear. I'm a terrible liar. Be there by sunrise. Oh no. Be ready for us. Boys, we're leaving. Well. I like to. Oh, oh, that's why it was Shit. moving. Of course. <laughs> I lied to the woman that has got our old friends, and we lied. You know, she said to us that she would do the same to the friends that you know she captured. You know, as the guy that that we had with us as well. Oh well, this is a bad idea. We've got a zombie Randall now. I guess we can trade him, right? So wait, are we gonna walk him like he's actually alive? We, we need to muffle his voice one way or another. I thought by smashing in his skull he would automatically not turn either, but... She's coming here for her brother. When she sees what we do to him. Oh. At least he can walk. Right? 
<laughs> if you can call that walking. <laughs> just hope she doesn't take it out on my guys. The bag helps, man. Brother. This better work. It will. Thank you. It's risky. <laughs> Even if we just put a bag over his anyone. head, you know, just to make sure. I don't know if the garment is going out of his mouth or out of his throat or whatever. We could decide to cut out his bottom jaw, uh, his bottom jaw as well. That would work. Alone. If they fall for this, it would be so funny. Just because we gave her her brother back, even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. Yeah, that's a good point. Good thinking, so Sam. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? It might work. We just have to be quick. The minute your guys are inside, we're out of here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? See, what do you want to do? Where are you going? Sam, where are you going? Yeah, we should probably consider taping his mouth shut. That would probably Sam. be the best idea. Give him a clean shirt as well. There's no way there's gonna fall for that as, as like, if this... Oh, If he's making all these noises. Oh, he's gonna turn as well. Sam, where are you taking it? You think- oh, no, no, he got shot in the head, right? No, 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 we're good. He's not gonna turn. God damn it. Sam, stop. You got shot in the shoulder, like, 20 minutes ago, it feels like. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. It was a bad night for you, Sam. <laughs> Lost your brother, your dad. Your own shoulder. All in the span of like 12 hours, I think. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. That's all I can give him. I understand. Okay. You should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking. My that. mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead. But I'm not coming with you. She left Greg behind at the boat like it was nothing. Sorry, but I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I know you don't want to, but leaving might be your only option. It isn't safe here anymore. I know, but I, I can't just give up. We can fight. We can defend this house. Dude, that shoulder no did happens, heal really quickly. Thank you. She can already I pool with it again. Life. That's insane. Sorry, it took me so long to say it. How much of a time span are we talking here? It feels like it's all the same evening. We'll help her. Oh, come on. I mean, she's not really doing a bad thing here. This will take a little bit of time, but Sam will remember this, and Sam is pretty cool. Yeah, we're very messed up. I know it's stupid. But I have no, to finish this. It's not stupid at all. Weapon stash to my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. So we know that Norma will have to walk the long way around as we didn't really get our uh you know, we obviously took the shortcut walking up that electricity mast. It's getting worse, isn't it? We're seeing them everywhere now. Okay, James. James, your brother's dead, your father's dead, your sister's burying him outside. What's your plan? You got a gun? I you sure I about this? James? I wanted right. to know what it felt like. Keep it. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. And? How does it feel? It's, it's heavy. Step one, don't point it. K 
Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. They took a bullet, both of them. I thought we were safe here. Nope. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's really what it comes down to. It's gonna be scared. Keep your head down. You no, you have to be smart. smart. That's how you survive. That's how we've My been dad surviving here. guy I knew. That didn't save him. Well, I mean, <laughs> the guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta. I mean, <laughs> the things he said. Randall is dead, James. I killed him. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. Yeah, go help her. Sam needs you right now. Go, help her. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong. Don't put hurry. your finger on the trigger, dude. didn't always come to this. To be fair, we seem far more lethal with that machete than with a gun, but... I guess we'll take the double back. Oh, dude, we're seeing them everywhere now, every couple of hey, minutes. Rich, what's all up? Prisoners aren't cooperating. What do you want to do? Yeah, we don't have time for this. Get them moving. Okay, so we need to make sure that Pete and Paige are going to be armed. Guess we'll have a quick look around. What's going on? Pete, you yeah. need a gun. Thanks. He learned how to load up a gun really quickly. That was quite impressive. He's a talented young man. Paige, where you at? Door to the garage, microwave. At least we still have electricity somewhat. I guess we'll go upstairs. I'm totally gonna see my kids up here again, am I not? I'm hoping at the very least that Paige is upstairs. I did not give him a gun just yet. And Norma should be on her way. I'm not entirely sure what to expect here. Maybe I had to do that before going upstairs. I didn't know where he was. Is that? Music? Oh no. Oh no. The cord is getting longer! Oh, that is such a sick effect! Here, over here! Get in there. Can I come in? Oh, buddy. I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? To Pretty sure they scare everyone. Ways. Even at night. Getting scared is normal. Really? Happens to everyone sometimes. 
but my dad's not scared of them. He did. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, you didn't know that yet. Waiting for him. Where is he? <sighs> Why didn't we'll he come him. get me yet? Where is my dad? Well, be straight up with kids is probably the best way to do it. Your dad's not coming. Beating around the bush for he's with kids doesn't make any sense. What? Saying a bad man came for him doesn't. He got shot outside. No. You may misunderstand. I don't believe you. What is it? We'll hold him. Please. We'll hold him, boys. Did my dad be become one of them? Nope. It it it's what happens, right? No, your dad didn't become one of them. He's still your dad. It's not fair. You deserve to know the truth. I didn't want to lie about what happened to your dad. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> I feel sorry for these people, man. I'm not a particularly great child therapist, but I think we did quite well there. Okay. You can't do that to me, game! That scared me! Hey, buddy. Did I just call you him earlier? I wasn't entirely sure what your name was. Well, hey. Paige? I'm sorry if I called oh, you a he. Hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. You say thank you. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I think it's a good use of Sam's time, yes. I've never seen her like this. She's... She's not thinking. Give her some space, okay? She's grieving. I know. And I wish I could give her that, but Norma's not gonna wait for her to get over her dad's death. This shitstorm's coming whether we're ready for it or not. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway. Same as you. I guess she doesn't That's belong here after all. Common. What do you mean? Like I've been Squatters I've been wondering out the relationship here for a while. What do you mean same as me? I know what it's like running from whatever. I spent most of my life doing that. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed. I think Sam needs you here. Stay. Sam needs you. You're gonna regret it if you leave, trust me. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. Yeah, I think we've done all of the necessities now. The only thing left over to do is have a quick look around. Dude, would you look at that car? That's a sweet car. But other than that, I don't think there's a whole lot that we can discover over here anymore. I can just simply... I probably will just have to simply head outside. Ooh. We'll have a quick look around though. We're just sneaking into these people's place. Oh, what's that? There's a letter. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna be... Oh, no. It starts with John and ends with Sophie. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain. I love you more than anything. Sophie. I could have done without reading that. <sighs> they look really happy together. So she had some sort of disease, something was wrong with her heart, and instead of waiting it out and wait for her to die herself and, you know, eventually turn turn into a zombie, she decided to shoot herself in the head. Pretty sure we've discovered everything else though. Ooh, 
Ooh, there's one more. Oh, no, 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 we've been in there already. I was gonna say, I think there's one more room that we can enter into. Yeah, we should just leave him at this point. I feel sorry for these people. That's messed up. Everyone's dead. At the very least, everyone I know died, right? So there's no more... At the very least, that chapter has ended, if that makes sense. All we're getting right now is that we know that there is probably oh, a lot Sean. more death going to happen for them. Uh, I'm looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. He's hiding in his closet. Thanks. I'll go get him. I'll meet you outside. I think Sam knows the truth about her mom. <sighs> mom, we love you. I think we're gonna see another one then as well for dead, huh? Mommy? Oh no. Wait, did we, like, did we consciously decided to leave them by themselves? We must have had a good reason, right? Michonne seems like a good person. Or maybe she's made a mistake and went from there. We, could, we fit right in. We could totally be a family of four right here. I'm just a little more tan. <laughs> Sam? You okay? I don't think so. Rick and Dad? I just... I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? Maybe you don't need to say anything. It's okay to just be here together. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? No, of course I'm not okay, dude. <clears throat> you kidding me, Pete? Sure. Okay. I'm thinking about my kids. Just thinking about my kids. I keep seeing them. Hang in there. We'll be back out on the water soon. If you just flex. <laughs> I feel sorry for these people, man. You know, She's got two younger brothers. What's she gonna do? They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. Just a little bit. <sighs> normal doesn't really exist like anymore at this point, now. Whatever normal is, it doesn't exist anymore. No matter how much you want. We have to build up a massive community without like random killings all day long to make hey, that justifiable. I decided to stay for Sam. Okay. Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Of course not. Uh huh. So, <clears throat> I'm assuming here that we do need to leave here at some point. She's here. We're gonna have to trade in <sighs> the Walker. <clears throat> AKA Randall. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam. For a couple of our friends. You know, just it's just a one for four brother, or so. Okay? Totally worth it. I need you to hide until I come get you. What, what's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Yep. Y you'll stop them, right? Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. Well done. Here goes nothing, I suppose. We're gonna have to... <laughs> I wonder if she actually has our friends, though, or if that was, like, a pre-recorded type of thing. I mean, she obviously sounded like it, right? But I wouldn't be surprised. 
I wouldn't be surprised if they're. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. Uh. I'll cover you. If I can. Thank you. You better start so learning how to aim then. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll. She's gonna guilt trip you. Be careful. Okay. So a couple of Randall, couple of options. Either we trade him in and it goes all to plan and we're gonna live on a boat happily ever after. Option two is she recognizes it early and kills all of our friends. Option three, and this is totally gonna be the most likely one. She's gonna believe us at first and then it turns into a massive slaughter fest. Because there is no way that option one is gonna happen. And I don't think she's gonna kill all of her friends out of nowhere either. She's better start aiming properly though, because otherwise we are in, in yeah, we're in for a little bit of trouble here. It's quiet out there. You ready for this? Anything goes wrong out there. I got don't you. Don't provoke her. We just have to be careful not to provoke her. I don't want this to turn into a fight. Hopefully Norma feels that way too. So Randall's not gonna be able to say very many things, Norma. I hope you're okay with that. Hold A to open the gates. Well then, what is going on, Norma? You're all by yourself? I did not expect that for some it's reason. Just me. What the hell is going on here? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. What's your game? No game. I just want to talk. I'm not really interested in hearing what you have to say. I just want my people back. And you'll get this. She's totally don't just believe. Uh, I, I, she's totally alone. I don't Listen, believe it for a second. Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. That's all. <clears throat> and I'll leave you. We'll show her. We'll show her, right Randall. Here. Randall! Stop. You okay? We gagged him. He can't say a word. Just hang on. I got gotcha. you. She's believing it, boys. One good turn. Any minute now. I don't believe her for a second. There's totally gonna be a lot of them. They're totally gonna come here to kill us. Safe and sound, Ooh. just like I said. Now, give me Randall, and we can go our separate ways. You can't let her walk away. We're all homeless because of her. Gabby, it wasn't her fault. That's enough. Now be quiet. Oh, he's Sean, trying to help us, though, please, I think. I just want my brother. Let's be done with this. <laughs> Deal? Ask for all your people. I want Pete's crew first. Then I'll give you Randall. We're gonna Careful hardball this. You don't take advantage now. I have no Release use in keeping one. us at all. Sure. It's okay. We just need this to be over. Let him go, Gabby. They're totally only gonna let him. <laughs> They're only gonna give us one then, though, because this is an issue now. I want Professor I Oak with us as well. I made good on my end. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Give me Randall. I'm gonna. Oak! Hey, put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have one more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if We're gonna call her bluff. On being she she him, right? cares about her brother. I'm not gonna shoot him. You may Hold have more of my guys, but this piece of shit over here is all you've got. And there's still plenty I can do to hurt it. Dude, we're hardballing this one so, so nicely. Randall isn't worth all this shit. Gabby, listen to After me. everything they've done, you're still giving them more chances. Give me, we give me Professor Oak. Do He's got Bulbasaurus and Charizards and all that in his pockets. Ooh. Well done. Uh, Everyone I called her bluff. Oh. I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't. Stand down! Please, 
Don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. You better get your people under control. Really? Get me! Fuck! Oh man, this is gonna be a mess. I'm hoping here my buddy over here is gonna still help us out. Oh, luckily the walkers are going in for the rescue now. I'll give you that one, all right? We're even. As long as you let Randall go. Randall is a walker. I just want Professor Oak. He was nice to us in the boat. I'm not gonna ask you again. No one else has to die. Is that a threat? It doesn't need to be. Okay. You can have him. Good. We're gonna trade him right now. Dude, wasting all these bullets? Are you a crazy? Oh, man. We just gave him a walker. <laughs> Randall. Randall, you okay? Give me Oak! Give me Professor Oak! Oak, walk! Peekaboo! Give me Professor Oak! Oh, well, his name is only Oak, really, but... <laughs> Oak, why didn't you just stand still, though? You had so much time. Yeah, Oak! Oak, come at me! Norma's gone, boys. Well, not yet. Oh. Nice. See? That was the best, the best deal we were gonna get here. Ooh. I think Paige would have missed that shot, which is the reason why I didn't tell her to shoot initially. That was totally a good deal. I didn't mess that one up completely. I thought I would mess that one up completely. Okay, she's gonna bring in all of the zombies. Really? Sorry about that, buddy. Sorry about that. Oh, excuse me. Coming through. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. oh man. I'm hitting headshots today. Be careful now, Loco. He has a shotgun. Pull a matrix. Pull a matrix. Oh, no. Oh, no. Our children are here. Oh. Oh. Luckily for us, the zombie managed to get there faster than we did. We are completely losing it. Norma, no. Norma? Norma! Oh, Norma, I am the only samurai here in the kneecap. Arr, give me another one. Give me my samurai blade back. Give me that thing. Oh, no. Get the rest of them. Burn the whole fucking house down. Whoa, Norma. What is with the language? I'm pressing Q like no tomorrow. I can't press Q any faster than that. Oh, in the hand. Oh, we spit out. Oh man, we just bit out a bunch of flesh. All right, give me that. Give me that knife or sword. Ooh. Zachary died as well. That's a dang shame. Hold on, hold on. I need to chop off one more thick head. Or an arm. Just get rid of the zombies at this point. Oh. Nom nom. Breakfast served, zombies. I am a terrible person. I am a terrible person. I am a terrible person.
I just practically murdered everyone once again that I have come in contact with. At the very least, we have made most of our crew, or we got most of our crew back to safety, the ones that we got initially. But I do think we obtained to play of the game, though. I'm pretty sure we obtained to play of the game. I had to make a split decision there whether or not I wanted her to suffer more from those zombies or if I wanted to kill her. I think taking her out there at the end was mercy, right? I'm pretty sure taking her out there was the correct call. Because, I, I mean, Norma didn't seem all too bad. After all, like, Norma was just trying to set up a community in the middle of a place where things weren't going so well. And she was a little careful about outsiders joining in as well. And we basically just came in there, burnt the place down, took her brother after he attacked us, and then traded him for a couple of walkers. We're not much better than Norma either. Norma was, I mean, a little rude to us. But other than that, I'm pretty sure we just gave her mercy after all. I still love the fact that we managed to trade in a zombie. <laughs> for, for a couple of my friends. I did not think that that would work whatsoever. For some reason, the game does take a while to load, yeah. I've noticed some poor optimization in the game every now and then. That's a shame. I thought you weren't gonna make it for a minute. They stopped firing! They're surrounding the house! We have to get out of here! Where are the boys? Upstairs! Alex! Jane! Hurry up! Oh no, she's got a Molotov? Loco, headshot! Oh no! Where'd you guys get these? That sounds like a waste of alcohol right there. Oh no. At least this brings us back to rea- or well, not back to reality I suppose, but at the very least it keeps us back and moving, like... bad for the kids that happened to her. The apartment is burning down though. Need to move all these things away. Are you kidding me? Did like did they do did they throw things in here as well or did they just catch fire? Because it seems like someone is trying to burn down the apartment right now as well, which may very well be an imaginary type of thing I suppose, but Oh no. Oh no. At the very least, we're saving someone else's children now. Brawl. Now some of you have been asking why I would think that I would probably not make it through the first week of a zombie apocalypse. This right here is the exact reason. Oh no. Are you- are you telling me they got eaten by walkers? We are going up once again. I'm coming. <coughs> that is not a door handle. That is a window. This woman is definitely a complete complete badass but I don't think I'm gonna be able to just hit E 
in the middle of a zombie attack. I'm pretty sure that that would, you know, not really do a whole lot. Now it looks like... Oh, we're back at the apartment once again. Oh no. The one makes me look of Mickey Mouse. I'm not gonna hurt you. He's got like little ears. <laughs> Is that a Nokia 3310? What's where happening? Are you? Go pack your things, okay? We have to go. Where's mommy? We tried to wait. We're, we're, we're heading to Donna. Dad. She'll be fine. Come on. No, she'll come look for us. We have to be here. Michonne, if you're still... Just stay safe, okay? Thank you. Did you, did you get out? Did you make it? I need to know. Right in the fields. I can't handle these kind of things very well where there's like kids and shit and it's sad and have you seen Sam? Dude, not hugging right now. Start moving already, are you kidding me? We don't have time for a conversation like this. Just talk while you're walking. It's a basic human skill, you learn it when you're like two. Enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. Oh. She can't stay. We can't stay here. It's too late. I wish you could come with me. Here. 
We know it's not real. Hi. We know it's not real. I'm so sorry. We know it's not actually a thing. <laughs> Get out of the house. Give me your hand. That's messed up, man. I'm not particularly great at these kind of, <laughs> these kind of things. They're all desperately trying to play it on my feels, and I would say that I don't get touched in these kind of games very quickly. It doesn't work in this time around. <sighs> okay, we're back in. Uh, you know, at least the shore. I wonder... I wonder if we will figure out exactly what has happened to the kids, though. All we know is that somehow, some way, we needed to leave them alone. I don't know if we were alone with the dead or if we were separated. Because he kept calling me, your mother has to go. Like, it's it's kind of like, ah. Uh, he wasn't really saying goodbye to us either. So I've got the feeling that the man and I were separated. And apparently we came back to look for them after this whole thing went down. And, well, that's that. That is that. Yeah, he did mention. Take a boat down to what's he did mention the uh, the so fact that uh, they were staying with their father. So. Drop you off in Oceanside, or maybe one of the other communities up north. Good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. Probably not. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. We Learn from alone. this. <laughs> no, no, no. You're welcome. <laughs> Learn from this. <laughs> Dude, I'm just gonna leave being a smartass. That's the way we go. It'll be harder out there, without Berto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not gonna be the same without so. him. Yeah, I'm gonna miss him too. That was a savage I response right there to say that. Learn from more this. <laughs> when we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What, what happened? To I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... You think that was real? No, it wasn't. I saw my daughters. I got to talk to them. But that's not possible, right? For them to be there. I'm not superstitious, I'm afraid. I'm... Maybe you'd better start thinking about... You know... What if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. I couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. I'll go back eventually. When I'm ready. Just don't take too long. I'm gonna hang out with you, Pete. You're pretty cool. I don't know my people. I wonder if there's any connection in Season 3 to this. To this whole storyline. Come on. Did you let Sam bury her father? You and 91% of the players helped Sam move her father's body. I mean, that was kind of an obvious choice, right? I mean, 
There wasn't really a decision there to make. Did you tell Alex what happened to his father? See, this is the Dutch in me coming through and immediately telling him straight up that his father died. Maybe I should have beat around the bush and be be a person in that regard, but anyway. Did you hand Randall over to Norma? I mean, I did handle him over in the end, but... Or I did hand him over in the end, but that was, you know, after, after we traded a couple of our friends, so there's that. Did you put Norma out of her misery? Are you telling me the majority of the players did not put her out of her misery? That's sick. And did you choose to leave with your daughters or stay with them? I mean, I'm pretty sure that any sane person there would have decided to leave that, uh, you know, that group alone. It's pretty messed up though, but this is going to mark the ending of The Walking Dead, Michonne. I guess it's now just simply, you know, a little bit of waiting for season 3 to arrive. And... Supposedly, that's coming out in November.